We all know the Earth is full of water, but there's a lot more to water than all that blue stuff you see on the globe. The water we can see on the surface of the Earth is surface water. Surface water is every lake, pond, river, stream, and ocean on Earth. But in the ground below your feet, there's even more water, groundwater. Groundwater is water that's crammed in the tiny gaps between rocks, soils, and sediments under the ground. A full body of groundwater is called an aquifer. There are huge aquifers all across America. The biggest is the High Plains Aquifer, which covers 174,000 square miles right in the middle of the country. Anything that big deserves a closer look. Let's say you could grab a shovel and dig straight down through the soils to an aquifer. The level underground where you first hit groundwater is called the water table. Below the water table, the ground is completely soaked or saturated with water, which is why this area is called the saturated zone. The area above the water table is called the unsaturated zone. So, how does all this water end up in the ground? Well, it's all a part of the good old water cycle. When it rains, some water gets soaked up by plants. Some water runs off the soil and into streams, lakes, or even the ocean. Other water gets stuck on the surface and eventually evaporates back into the air. Meanwhile, some of the lucky water droplets get to travel down through the surface deep underground until they reach the water table and become a part of an aquifer. Once water seeps down deep enough into the ground, it can stay there for a really long time. Some of the water stored in the deepest parts of aquifers has been there for thousands of years. But after it gets there, groundwater doesn't always stay in the ground. A lot of the water on the surface comes from aquifers. If the surface of the ground dips below the water table, groundwater flows out into the space, creating a body of surface water. If the surface water dries up, groundwater can flow in to fill it back up. And if the water table in this area rises, so does the level of the surface water. Groundwater can also pour down a sloping surface, creating streams. Any place where groundwater flows out into the surface is called a spring. Surface water can also become groundwater. If a body of surface water flows above the water table, water can seep down through the sediment and help fill the aquifer. Of course, there's another way that groundwater can leave the ground. Us. Humans depend on groundwater, and there are thousands of wells all over the country that draw water out of aquifers. In many parts of the country, the water you get from the tap comes from the ground. However, we use most of our groundwater to help grow the food we eat. Farms can get lots of the water they need from rain, but rain isn't always enough. And in dry years, farmers depend even more on the water that's stored in the ground. In fact, American farms use about 53 billion gallons of groundwater every day. That's enough to fill over a million bathtubs or 80,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. So, if we're using that much every day, can it run out? Well, yes and no. Remember, aquifers can be refilled by rainwater or surface water seeping in from rivers and streams, so there's usually more water on its way to replenish the aquifer. But if we use groundwater faster than the aquifers can refill, we could drain them dry. They probably wouldn't be empty forever, but it would take hundreds of years for the largest aquifers to get back to healthy levels. Whether it's up here or down there, water and how we use it matters. We may not be able to see it every day, but groundwater makes our lives possible. So don't let show-offs like rushing rivers and roaring oceans get all the attention. Those unseen aquifers below ground have been here longer than we have, 
and with a little love and care, they'll keep on taking care of us long into the future. 